Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I want to feature a very affordable Seiko sports model. This is the bottle cap reference number SRPC61. Now I'll begin by placing some dimensions on the side of the screen and I got to make a comment about them. I think they're a little deceptive uh, when you're referencing this watch because I mean the dimensions would indicate that this is just a really big piece at 45 millimeters but there's something about it that makes it feel a little bit more diminutive and that's probably your almost completely round case uh, your sloping delicate lugs that have the lug holes the thin bezel profile and then those maxi applied markers on this uh, reflective dial it ends up feeling smaller and let me show it to you next to my uh, Seiko Sumo, uh, the blue coral Sumo that I'm wearing today. You can see uh, very, very similar, but this one is, I don't know, it just something about it makes it wear smaller. Now my wrists are 7.25 inches in circumference. I like the way it sits. It melds on the wrist well. It's nice and flat, and I think the finish work is very sharp for the price point. Nice grain brushing throughout the case, and even the bottom portion of the case has a polished beveled edge which I think ties in well with the polished crown at the four o'clock position, something that we love seeing from Seiko. Now let's take a look at the dial. Like I said, kind of a reflective finish to it with these maxi applied markers. One thing to note about the markers, they're not true deep filled applied markers. They have that appearance, uh, but what's going on here is Seiko is printing their Lumabrite formula on a metallic disc. So it has the look of, of applied markers but doesn't have the cost associated. And this is something that Seiko does with quite a few of their uh, Prospex watches. Uh, the Turtle is an example, the Monster, even the Sumo that I'm wearing, uh, the Loom is printed onto those, those discs. So I think you really gotta go up in price to like the S SBDC uh, 05 series and 06 series before you're really getting hand applied deep filled markers. But you know, on a watch that costs about $150 new, that carries the look, I'm not going to complain. I think this is uh, I think this is pretty sweet. It ties in well with the sword hands. You've got an applied badge up there below the 12 o'clock position. And overall, just crisp, clean applications of everything. Uh, it's handsome. This is a handsome looking watch, no doubt. Now, what are the negative aspects here? There, there's definitely going to be some drawbacks to this. Uh, the big one is the factory bracelet. I think it's uh, it's just not even worth wearing. It's very rattly. There is a lot of flex and give to it. Uh, I don't like wearing it. So I placed it on this German-made Stabe mesh, polished Milanese style. It's one of my favorite straps and I pair it with as many watches as I can because I really like the way it just takes the watch up to the next level. But this would look great on uh, like the Seiko NATOs over there or uh, rubber or even leather, I think. Uh, it's kind of a strap monster. Just with the tones, the stainless steel, the black and the white, I think it go with a lot of different combinations. And I appreciate that. There is uh, drilled lugs here, so it does make it pretty easy to, to do those strap changes. Now the watch carries a 4R36A movement, which I like seeing. I don't think I've seen that movement in a watch that costs less than $200 new, which is very nice. You know, it's an it's in-house caliber. 24 joules, 41 hours of power reserve, sprung, hairspring, and mainspring. It's not finished. I mean, it's it's not super well finished. It's very austere and utilitarian in its finish work, but it's also nice to see through the uh, Hardlex exhibition case back. So in the end, I think this is a fun watch. I like the finish work. I like, uh, you know, the bezel action is actually really good. Nice and loud, and everything lines up perfectly. Um, the detail here on the dial, again, is very good. I like the fact that the day window, it, or sorry, the day wheel is blacked out to match the dial, and then the date wheel is white to tie in with that indice and create that rectangular form in white that matches the opposite side of the dial. So there is good attention to detail throughout the watch. I think it wears well for its size. It's finished well. And for $150, this, this is... I think it's difficult to beat. This does bring a lot to the table despite its drawbacks like a push-pull crown. And the luminescence isn't amazing. It could be better. It's not quite as potent 
as what you'd find on like a Seiko SKX or even the Seiko Turtle. But for what this is, I think it's pretty awesome. And I want to give a big thank you to Robert of the Random Rob channel for lending this in. This is his personal bottle cap. And I've guys, I've genuinely enjoyed my time with this watch. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll put a link in the description to where you can find this uh, on Gray Market. I think it's uh, I think it's a good pickup. So again, thanks for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you guys in the next video.